Hello, and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of December 9th, 2020. Today, we get to start off with watching Dan Crenshaw. I'm not sure he's a Republican a senator or a House representative or not, I'm not sure. Actually ripping Nancy Pelosi a new one. This is actually a good watch because I've seen it and it, oh my gosh, he lets her have it. It's a good one. So please stay tuned and I'll be right back to this video. Thank you. Texas, Mr. Crenshaw, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to unequivocally condemn, in the strongest possible terms, the actions of the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. Just last week, referring to her obstruction of bipartisan targeted relief bills that we could have voted on on this floor, she said, quote, don't characterize what we did before as a mistake. This was not a mistake. It was a decision, end quote. When asked what had changed, why she is finally coming to the table on COVID relief, her response was simple, a new president. We've known for months that Speaker Pelosi was holding the American people hostage for political gain. I've said it, my colleagues have said it. While Americans suffered under unscientific, foolish lockdowns, Pelosi withheld relief for political purposes. Not policy purposes, but political purposes. But we now have a full admission. She said the quiet part out loud. This was never about what was best for the American people, never about honest policy disagreement. It was about preventing President Trump from getting any credit. It was about politics. Speaker Pelosi made a simple calculation. She bet that if she could keep Congress from reaching a deal on COVID relief, that would hurt President Trump and Republicans and give her more power. Even when members of her own party asked her to bring common sense, standalone, bipartisan relief measures to the House floor that would easily become law, she refused. She would say over and over again that nothing is better than something. And she was being honest. She honestly believed that nothing was better than something, but better for who? Not for the American people, that's for sure. She believed that nothing was better than something for her and her party. It's hard to imagine a more awful and heartless strategy. And what's worse, Speaker Pelosi does all of this while people in her home state suffer from unscientific, unconstitutional lockdowns that Democrat leaders in California are forcing upon their citizens. These lockdowns are not based in science. They never have been. Study after study shows that they yield little, if any, benefits, but they impose extreme costs on the small businesses suffering under them. You know what else? The Democrat leaders making these executive orders, they know this too, because they're violating their own guidelines. The Speaker of the House couldn't even let a pesky little lockdown get in the way of a haircut appointment, even though those same lockdowns destroy the lives of her constituents. We've all seen the heartbreaking video of Angela Marsden, the owner of Pineapple Hill Saloon and Grill in Los Angeles. Everyone should have to watch that testimony as Democrats shut down her outdoor outdoor dining while a Hollywood studio sets up shop right next door. She represents millions of Americans suffering who have taken note of the hypocrisy of these lockdowns, of the double standards, as big businesses can operate freely while small businesses are shamed into submission and told wrongly that they are the ones who must sacrifice to slow the spread, that the demise of the business they spent their whole lives building is the price to pay because if it just saves one life. But this is unscientific nonsense. And we all know it. Study after study shows outdoor dining is safe, that outbreaks are not occurring because of our small businesses, our gyms, our restaurants, our salons. And yet these small businesses are in the crosshairs of cowardly politicians across the country. This madness has to stop. This arbitrary application of executive orders is deeply, deeply unconstitutional. Justice Gorsuch recently stated, there is no world in which the Constitution tolerates color-coded executive edicts that reopen liquor stores and bike shops, but shutter churches, synagogues, and mosques. Americans have had enough. It is time to stand up against the hypocrisy of these so-called leaders deliberately harming the citizens they claim to represent. 
and to condemn the deeply partisan actions of the Speaker of this House. I yield back. And we've all heard about the $908 billion stimulus proposal. Well, where we stand on the bill is basically a stalemate based right now because all the politicians are still stuck on liability protection and state and local government assistance. Then as I... And as you know, as, as I announced yesterday about Steve Mnuchin coming to Nancy Pelosi and introducing her to the, to the new $916 billion uh, stimulus package that includes a $600 stimulus check for adults as well as for dependents, just not adult dependents. And then, uh, and it's good to hear that Mitch McConnell basically is actually on board with the whole $916 billion stimulus proposal. Even though we have not seen or heard anything of this bill as far as uh, everything that's going to be into it, I do, if you pay attention to my right hand corner, you're going to see the stuff that I've actually collected that's actually supposed to be in the $908 billion stimulus bill. So I don't really have anything about the $916 billion one yet, except for it has stimulus checks. So if you'll actually. Uh, So if you basically stay, uh, just read my upper corner over here. Oh yeah, over there. Yeah. <laughs> um, you'll see all the stuff that I've been able to collect to actually put in this, that's supposed to be in the, the stimulus package that you guys might enjoy. So thank you. And until next time, I'm sorry, this is such a short one, but um, the videos, you know, it's the clip that was in there is actually pretty long. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Have an excellent Wednesday. And please stay safe. And remember, we're all in this together because basically it's all we got is each other because we don't have no politicians. Until next time, you have a wonderful night. Goodbye.